Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to mod the Fallout New Vegas uh, Epic Game Store version of the game. Uh, first, I will show you how to install the essentials that we will need. And I will quickly show you how to manually add uh, mods, which is not really the recommended way. And after that, I'm going to show you how to use a mod manager to install mods. Now, what we did here is just uh, downloading the files we need. I'm going to be linking, um, I'm going to put all the links to the all the files I've used in this video in the video description for you to download. Now, we just download these files I downloaded here and we go to the where the game is installed for me it's here in this directory in this folder right here uh, this one is the new vegas script extender and this other one is the epic game epic games uh, patcher if you launch it like this uh, it it won't work you will need to drag and drop it where the to where the game is installed where the executables are and it's not here it's uh, in the Fallout New Vegas English and you open it uh, so what this does is just it downgrades the game to the previous version which is the best one because it's the one where all the mods work with and to manually install mods, you when you download the mod, you open it like this, and you drag everything that the mod has in the data folder like this. If it requires New Vegas Script Extender, you put it in that folder as well. And a quick note, do not open the game from the loader that comes with the Script Extender. Instead, just open the game normally. Now, the best way to install mods and this is what I would recommend is just to install a mod manager. The best one is Mod Organizer 2. And you could just go ahead and uncheck these two boxes. We don't need those. You can create shortcuts if you want. Click on Next, Desktop Shortcut, for easy access. And uh, let it install. I skipped ahead. It usually takes longer. I just skipped ahead. Do not waste any time. Uh, next, and uh, create a global instance is what we need. If you don't see the game here, uh, you're going to have to manually add it, which I'm going to be doing right now. Make sure to select the folder where the game is installed, the Fallout English one, because if you select just outside here, you're going to get this unrecognized game error. So, as you can see, um, now we need to open this folder and select this one. <clears throat> you can name it whatever you want here. I'll just stick to New Vegas to make it recognizable. And next and finish. And from here, we gonna need to enable all these DLCs that come with the game. Like this, we enable each one. <clears throat> and we, whenever we're done, installing or activating any mods we have to sort to make the load order correct this is why this mod manager is recommended to use because it just makes your life much easier and from here we should not really launch the game from the new vegas script extender we should use the launch the game normally from the new vegas <clears throat> launcher this is mentioned in the notes of the epic games patcher now i'm going to show you how to install mods with the mod manager now let's pick this one 
and we click on mod manager download then from here we click on slow download and you might get a prompt to install any or open in a different software you just click on yes if you get that for me it's just gonna download automatically and when it's done downloading you click on downloads and you click on right click and install and you just follow the installation process and from this side you can see the description of what each option does when you hover hover over over it and we click on next we have the ultimate edition of course and we click on the components we want to use depending on the mod it, these are going to be different some mods are just going to be uh, very quick to install you just click on next and you're done for this one it's a bit complicated we have to select the components we want first and once we're done we click on plugins and we check this box and we have to sort to make the load order correct and for everything to run smoothly when with less crashes as possible and from here we just uh, click on run and play the game as you can see here i'm going to show you that it's running and using the new vegas script extender and that's gonna be shown next up and hope this helps you and peace out